Welcome back to another quick tip. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about pink elephants. As a matter of fact, I don't want you to think about pink elephants. And yet, what are you probably thinking about right now? Stop it. You're not supposed to think about pink elephants. Well, what I've just given you in the AI world is a good example of a negative prompt. And negative prompts are something that you generally don't want to do. That's because negative prompts tend to basically remind the AI about the thing you're mentioning it. So it's like, oh, that's a thing. Okay, we'll put it in there. It's like overly eager and it actually can cause the output to actually do the thing that you asked it not to do because it's not quite good enough at recognizing the negative in there. For instance, some of you know Elizabeth Ann West, who is over at Future Fiction Academy, great platform for learning all about AI and digging deep into this stuff. She put it in a way that I thought was really, really good, which is imagine you have a toddler, which I actually happen to have a toddler. She's three, she's beautiful. But imagine talking to that toddler and say, you can't have a cookie just out of the blue, right? The toddler wasn't talking about cookies. The toddler didn't see a jar of cookies anywhere. You just say, you cannot have a cookie. Well, all the toddler heard was cookie, right? And now all they can think about is cookies. Even though you said you can't have a cookie, now they're thinking about cookies. So any parent of a toddler knows you just don't bring it up, right? You do not bring it up if you don't want them to start freaking out about it. And it's the same with AI. There is... It, it is far too common to actually put in your prompts, do not do this or do not do that. And if you can find a more positive way to say it, to say the reverse in a positive way, that is a better way to do it. And a lot of us, including myself, are guilty of doing this now and then. And part of that is because I think it does actually work sometimes, just not reliably, which is why you kind of want to avoid it as much as possible. But I do believe that AI is getting better and better, and it will get to the point where prompt engineering is not going to really be a thing because it'll understand the user intent far better so that if you say don't do something, it won't do it, right? It As it gets better, these things will become obsolete. But for right now, this is a quick prompt engineering hack. Don't say, don't say in your prompts. And that's my quick tip. I'll see you in the next video.